Hi, Sam Tolkien from Sound of Joy Music Services, and as we continue to span our how-to uh, lessons, we're attempting to, okay, scratch that, let's try it again. Hi, Sam Tolkien from Sound of Joy Music Services, and this is our continuing lessons on how to play gospel, and now we're including organ. Now, we don't have a real organ here to work with, so we have this contact uh, vintage organ, which we are using this software for now, to begin to start this conversation and learning to play gospel music. Let's get started. All right, so as you see, I, I've got the setup here, I've got to sort of turn to look at it, of the, of the draw bars. These draw bars are where your sounds come from. Excuse my side as I adjust them. For those that are familiar with the organ already, this is nothing new to you. This is for those musicians who are transitioning from piano to organ. You will have nine draw bars, if I'm correct, nine all the way across. These draw bars represent the pipe size of a pipe organ. 16 feet, five and a half quarter, eight feet, four feet, two thirds, and, uh, two, and two thirds, two feet, one and three, six, one and, th one and one third and one inch. Now, in a in a traditional pipe organ, if you've seen them in some of the churches, in the olden days, you will see a section of pipes all different lengths, and they would use an actual wind uh, contraption played through the keyboard using the expression pedals, either the swell or the grate, to get enough air blowing through so you can hear it. When the electronic organs became available, and Hammond organ, which is the the number one producer of electronic organs, they still wanted that pipe organ sound for a much cheaper price than a complete pipe organ. So then you have these draw bars. I'm going to start in settings that uh, for electronically I feel comfortable with. This is a program that I normally don't use vintage organs. My native instruments uh, software will not run on my new system, but I'm looking at now other organs to help to uh, facilitate this kind of teaching. So generally what you would do is you would find, as you can see from my fingering, you have no noise. Uh, the organ's um, key bed is pre practic practically from here. Okay, this is getting a noise there because my bass, is, uh, bass notes are coming in on that. I got the bass still turned on. Uh, generally from here to here. This is the, the, the entire range of where your keys are. So you have less keys than you would have on your uh, traditional piano of 88 keys. So we're going to work within this range right here. Let's say we hit middle C. It should be middle C right there. As you can see on Cordy app, I'm also in incorporating Cordy app here so you can see the chords that, that, that are prevalent to the organ sound. If we start with the 16th note, now you would say, well, that doesn't sound like much. Let's move you here. Okay, this is more like middle C. Each time you pull one out, your tone changes because the pipes in an elect in a in your nutritional organ are cut at different lengths, so you get a different sound when the wind comes out. But when played together, you get that harmonizing tone. Let's pull out the eight foot. As you can see, it fills up now, and the four foot. As you can see, different tones, if you go a little further, that simulates more wind being pushed through a pipe. So where do you start when you sit with the organ? I always like to recommend you find a sound that you can work with. If you're going to start here, 44444, four, 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 which is you see how much the draw bars are pulled out, that gives you this sound. Now, I've just pulled out those draw bars. The organ gives you also foot pedals, which I, I'm not set up quite yet to do that for you, but I will show you in the settings what your foot pedal would be. It would be an additional two draw bars sitting separate from each other, and it's the same concept. 
Like I said, I hit my foot pedals, there's no sound, but as I pull out on it, you will hear a deep tone because it is set for 16 foot for one, and it's usually only two, two draw bars, eight foot for the other. As you can see, that sound, that tone does change. So sort of, again, not the 100% pipe organ sound, but an electronic one where in a church, you still get the job done. Now, yes, in a church setting, traditionally you have hymns and anthems played with, with, the, with, with your organ so that the people who are singing along with it can have that sense of the church sound. Nowadays, the church sound is a lot more popular or, or um, what's the word I want to use? Uh, Pentecostal in nature, where it's really just jumping. But you still want to be able to know where the elements or the um, where the beginnings of the of the organ so tone emulated from. So I'm going to have my bass pedal set at seven for the simulated one because it's not as deep as I'm used to uh, from my other program. And we have these at four. So now we're going to combine. If you're looking at Cordy app, you will see that as when I hit a bass note. They're at that lower range on the left of the Cordy app. I'm in key of C. Pedal work is a it's an art. Not everyone picks it up right off the bat. I have a 13 note, 13 note MIDI pedal, which I can't hit too hard, as hard as I would if I was playing a normal pedal. What's the same concept? Instead of heel toe, it's toe all the way up to keep from damaging them. But as you can see, I can jump around it just like I would if I were using my left hand. All right, so we got that base there. You see where our upper manuals are set for. And now we combine all both facets of an upper manual setting and foot pedals. If we were going to select the song, uh, It Is Well. Now, what you see there is that I, I am a organist by trade. I was raised on a Hammond B3 and a C3 in my younger days when I was learning how to emulate or how to become a church musician. You see, I do a lot of keyboard work because I spent nine years on a Steinway. Once you play the Steinway, you just adapt to that sound. But my heart is really with the organ sound because there are so many other tones that I can get out of it without a piano. So as you can see, I am just or even more comfortable in an organ setting than I am on a piano because the organ makes me work more. I have to hear again every chord before I play it and coordinate that with my feet, left and right hand. So that's a nice beginner basic sound. Now you begin to use the draw bars to develop a sound you want to hear. We've got these four out. Let's bring out the very here. We'll start at this at the two two foot one though, and we'll bring it out just two because you can hear what that what that sound change is. Now it's a little bit. Of, there's a little higher note. As you can hear me throwing the Leslie on to give it that that whirling effect. Mm. Here's another 
chord I want to do, just another change that I want to do. There it is. Now, a lot of that you cannot do with a pipe organ because it would take so much air continuously flowing through to allow you to jump around like that. That's the advantage of having an electronic instrument, or in this case, an actual computerized one. You can do things that you couldn't do on a pipe organ, which is why the Hammond or any organ sound played in the church is, is um, uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, it's nest necessary for the musician because he wants to be able to get that expression out of him without having to wait for bellows to build up air and send it through the pipes and then build it up again and send it through the pipes. That's why musicians that walk into a pipe organ church frown because they know they can't okay, can't do that because they weren't designed to do that. So we've added one additional pipe in a sense let's add another one and you hear the change in it let's turn the tremolo off let's go to uh, I, like, I like D flat too like you hear our tone has changed take it off it's a little higher now you of course as the one who's playing adjust it to your settings I'm still getting comfortable with this this version of the organ. Uh, doesn't sound like I, I'm, I'm accustomed with. What am I doing? I am activating the tremolo sound. It's the actual rotating sound. Now it's in a slow rotation now. Well, you can hear me. It's in a slow rotation now. That speeds it up. And yes, musicians, and I'm one of those guys too. When it's there, I hit it as I feel. I can be just playing chords and it's no slow rotation is good. But there's something about that rotation. It just emphasizes what you're doing. Now we've pulled out some draw bars to change our sound. We haven't changed the organ. We just changed the amount of pipes electronically that we want to hear. Some musicians love to play full and you use, you use that generally when you're in the high point of a service where you just, well, I'll just take it like this, be blunt. You want to be loud, a little louder than everyone else. And this is that sound you get. Now on a traditional pipe organ, that's the full great sound. Let's see, let's go to A flat. So there is a place to having all the draw bars pulled out, and of course, if you're in a Pentecostal church and the preacher's up, ah. I do have uh, switched on me. I'm going to have to learn how to shut them off. There are presets on a Hammond organ. You have a set of uh, keys that continue, which are presets. And what happens is on this one, I have to learn how to turn those off. So if I venture into that area, I don't get what happened just here. So now I got to go back in. Uh, turn all this stuff back off again. Let's see. There we go. 
As I said, it has a, I'm not familiar with this, these, this, this software as, uh, in this setting, I'm more familiar with my native instrument. Yes, I'm a former Church of God in Christ musician, so I know my way around. But enough of that. So the organ is a, it's a working man's instrument because you can get more sounds out of it by being able to manipulate the draw bars while you're playing. Now I don't have my M, my M audio emulating this right now. I'm using the Yamaha to do this, which I think is why I'm having some issues with it but it has sliders which allows me to emulate the draw bars so I can move them while playing. I don't know of any other instruments that gives you that, well, that unless those features are installed, where you can be make changing sliders while you're playing. At the, now, generally you only have two hands, which means you have to release one hand while the other hand is moving the draw bars and it's and it's it is done so quickly it's almost at, at a split second because your, your hands will know how you want to form the draw bars and you reach and you use your fingers you pull out push in push out pull in until you hear what you want to hear that song. Oh, he is exalted. He is exalted. <laughs> Now this self has, has a clicking pop that is common to an electronic organ, but I like to hear it, not hear that pop. Now you see all the chords that I am playing. As I say, piano, it's easier for a piano player to go to an organ because once he knows all of his chords, all he has to learn is how do you use the draw bars, how do you use your feet, and how do you have more fun. You know, you're limited now in your keys, but now you're adjusting to a new instrument. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. As you can see, the chords are still the same. Let's see, I wanted to do this as another example, and then we're gonna get out of here. Uh, e flat. I'm hearing a bottom note here. Let me just, uh, as I say, this software. Nope, it turned off. Turn it. Left hand. There we go. Remember I told you that C is the highest note? Of course you won't hear nothing there because on a normal organ, that is, those notes don't exist. So, and as a musician, you learn to manipulate the sound of the pipes to get a range above that now. Again, this software is not friendly. Now find one that's uh, more comfortable what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm hoping to share some, again, organ tips for you musicians who happen into a church and maybe there's no keyboard but an organ. Don't, don't be afraid. If you can find one to practice on or you can use your own keyboard to practice on, get your set of MIDI foot pedals and just to go for it. Now the left hand doesn't have to play bass because that's what my foot pedal is for. to a much freer instrument when I'm doing organ. But the thickness of a, the heaviness of a weighty key makes me a lot faster when I'm on the organ. Don't wanna go too far. Okay, so this is come, comes to the end of organ tips as I 
look to see how this video looks on my YouTube page and on Facebook page. If you have any comments or any questions that in this mode that I can help you with, give me a call. One thing I will not do, I don't try to learn the styles of other musicians or organists, but if they're playing in a song and there's something, something that they're doing in that song, I have no problem breaking that down in the chordy fashion that you see right here so that you can see um, exactly generically what, what, what he might be doing. You see, I've played a couple of songs that has um, some different uh, chord changes in it. Just to let you know that uh, don't limit yourself to just the sound of the piano, but to every instrument sound that you have on your keyboard. All right, this is Sam Tobit, Sound of Joy Music Services. Glasses keep falling. And uh, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Share this with other musician friends that you have. And uh, stop by and see us again. Take care now. Be blessed. Bye. And end. Ugh.